tensions building All around you can feel it in the air It's more than a feeling A new reality everywhere I look and see the signs of the times Yeah it's coming but they're all in the night Welcome to the Canafab channel once again for those that are new, thank you for coming down and watching. Today we're just going to be doing a tutorial video on an install for twin snorkels on the N70. This is using the stock airbox. Um, the secondary snorkel is just a dummy snorkel there for the looks. Also we'll be plumbing up the snorkel on the driver's side. This video is just going to be a step-by-step -step instructions to show you how easy it is to do at home by yourself with the right tools and a bit of time. It's about a three hour job for your first timer. Um, today we should be getting through it in about an hour and we'll just put some time notes down to sections if you want to go forward to them. Um, any questions outside of this video, hit us up on the Instagram. All right, so first step we're going to go through is just some of the tools we need and some of the stuff that comes on the install kit. So here we have is one of our teardrop four and a half inch, which is our most popular snorkel at the moment. Um, the other things we've got is some rivets, some nuts, um, one of our brackets, you've got a cutting template, your flexi silicon hose. There is a hard option as well. Um, this is a lot easier for installation. It's a full silicon dual wall with um, temperature rating up to 200 degrees. So this is more than suitable for the application. You got some pinch weld. We use a nice thin pinch weld. Um, if you do have issues and you cut your hole too big, we can supply you with a thicker pinch weld. Um, then going through to some of the tools we're going to need. Um, we're using a air saw today. This does make the job a lot easier and faster. You can get away with tin snips um, that you can just get from Bunnings. Pretty cost effective. Uh, the sander, you can get away without needing it. Um, so you don't have to go purchase that just for a nice smooth finish. We're going to be using that. Uh, some other things you're going to want is just a flathead screwdriver. Um, if you want to go purchase one of these, they're about $20. That's just to take your clips out. If you don't want to buy that, you can just easily use two flathead screwdrivers. It takes a bit longer. Um, just a pick just in case. Some side cutters, a drill and some drill bits. For this, we're only going to need a uh, size five drill bit. So that's the only drill size you're going to need today. Um, for the rivets, we are using an air rivet gun, but for those at home that want to do this as a cost-effective install, you can just go to Bunnings and buy a hand rivet gun for under $30, $40. So that's pretty much everything that comes in the install. Something you're going to have to go buy yourself is just some tape that's to protect your guard and help you with the marking out. Um, you could do without it, but it's a lot safer to do with it and stops your car from getting scratched. Um, so now we'll go on to part two, which will be cutting out our template. And from that, then we'll go sticking that onto the car. So let's head over to the bench. All right, for us, we've got a stainless steel bench, so I'm using a blade to do the cutout. But at home, you can do it with a set of scissors. It's just a little bit more fiddly. So the first thing we're gonna do is just cut out these two um, shapes here. You do leave the center bit. So we're cutting these two outsides. Reason for leaving the center is so when we tape it down, it's not pulling the hole out of shape. And that way you get a nice, correct size hole. All right, so now we've just done a little fast forward. So we've cut out our actual hole and then just cut around all the edges. Just tells you where to cut anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll head over to the car and we'll place this on now. All right, now onto the taping. This part's highly recommended. Um, if it's your bush bash, you're probably not gonna do it. But we're just gonna go tape off all the guard. And we're gonna tape up the panel as well. Just in case we drop, drop anything or scratch up against it. This will just stop getting small little nicks all over your paintwork. All right, so now that we've done the tape up, next step is just putting on the template. So, might be a bit hard to see on the camera. But. 
I'll make it a little bit more evident for you. Right. I've got these lines across the guard here. So we are just lining this up with our panel. And if you just got some tape ready, it makes life nice and easy. That's gonna line up there. And we'll come over here, make sure we're lining up with our door as well. All right, so template's on now. Next bit is just to do our tracing. We do do these pretty tight. So we try to just leave the black line when you're marking it out, just leaves a little bit of room for error. Um, you might have to give it a little bit of a trim. But as long as you leave that line in, you know it's not gonna be too big because once you go too big, then it's an issue. So once you've done your outline, simply take your template off. You don't need that anymore. Put it in the recycling bin. Just join up these holes. And that's gonna be our outline. The next step kind of depends on if you're using tin snips or an air blade. I like to just drill a small hole here and I'll go with the air blade and trace it around. If you're using tin snips, you might want to do a couple of holes so you can cut out sections and then get new angles. So we've just cut out the hole and the next step is going to be putting our rubber trim on. Uh, we do give you a bit extra just in case you do um, wreck the first one just with your test fits. So uh, we'll put it on. We want to make sure the snorkel fits inside the hole with the rubber on before we go do our bracket location. If um, you're fitting it without the rubber, your bracket's going to be out of place and then you're not going to be able to get your bolts in properly. So please don't forget this step. The other thing is um, we do use a Lanaflex general purpose um, landline based corrosion protective spray uh, for the, the guard. If you're not using the spray, um, if you got some primer, just to dab that around there, uh, you don't want to leave it as a bare metal, it will rust eventually and then you'll get some rust marks dripping down your car. So for us, all we do is just spray that down, let it work its way down. And I'll also give it a little spray on there as well. And that'll stop it from corroding. Uh, we always recommend that with your pinch point pinch weld. Uh, do your cut up here, that way it's hidden and just looks nice and neat all the way around. Uh, we will eventually take this off and get take the tape off. But for now we'll leave it on there just to keep it nice and protected.
right, so that was the first cutout. I went right onto the line and um, that's a perfect fit all the way around. So I recommend first time doing this, leave a little bit um, before the line, test, refit. Uh, for me, I've done this 100 times, so I pretty much can eyeball where I, where I really need to have it. Um, but your first time, just take your time. This is the most important part, because if that's loose, the snorkel will jiggle around a little bit. Uh, next part is testing out our bracket position. So you do want a bit of tension on the guard. Um, it is a nice tight fit. So you've got the holes in the snorkel. We'll put our, bolt our bracket up to that. And then when our bracket's leaning up here against here, we're gonna mark it with a texter. Best to have a friend help you with this. So one person holds the snorkel and the other person just marks the bracket position with the texter. Then we'll take the bracket off the snorkel, do our dots for our rivets, and then drill one hole at a time for that. Make sure they all line up properly. All right, so I'll show what we've done without the uh, snorkel, because I actually need the cameraman to help me hold it. And it was a bit hard to film in there anyway. But what you do is you're gonna bolt just put two of your bolts into your snorkel. You're gonna have your snorkel in and you're gonna place it up against here. This will just sit where it needs to sit. And then you're just gonna draw a line for the bottom, a line for a top, and then just mark the center of your hole. We're gonna do the one hole first. Place our riv nut in there. Oh, sorry, our, our rivet in there. And then we're gonna mark this bottom one as well and make sure it lines up with that line. And then we're gonna drill this one. Then then we're gonna take this section of tape off. And we're actually gonna do the rivets on the top and the bottom. Once that's in, we'll drill these other holes. And that way we make sure all the holes line up properly and you don't have one that you have to re-drill a little bit and end up with a loose rivet. center there. We do leave a little play in here. You got about 1.5 mil play, just in case you're a little bit off with the drilling. All right, so now I can remove the tape around here. It's no longer needed. Make sure you do take it off because once we go to the next step, the only way to get the tape off is to take the bracket out, which means you've got to drill it out. And as you can see, our customer's actually had another snorkel on before this. So he had a Safari snorkel on and he's gone and got a new guard to fit one of our snorkels. So now that our bracket's in place, even with two, it's really firm, but uh, we put five in just for the sake of it. So now you can just go ahead and draw your other hole. And I will say just um, these ones aren't powder coated, so you can be a bit more crude, but if you've got the powder coated ones, I'd always recommend put like three layers of tape on there. Um, just stops it from getting scratched on that side. And even when you're test fitting, I'll put tape on as well. All right, so now we've done the snorkel hole and the bracket. Our next step is to put our plumbing in. So we'll be going to the stock air box. Uh, the easiest way to do this is just pull the stock air box out, get your plumbing around it, um, put your clamp on tight in it, then feed your plumbing through the hole. And we're just gonna leave a little bit sticking out, enough that we can get the clamp on from the outside. Then we'll push the snorkel back in and put the, put the 
snorkel onto the bracket and that's it. So it's just a couple of bolts for these air boxes, which is nice and easy. Um, there is usually a lot of clips on your guard lining that you have to take out from your front bar and whatnot. But this one, we got pretty lucky. We've just got a couple of cable ties holding it and there's nothing holding the guard lining to the bull bar on this. So unfortunately we can't go through and show you the steps to take that out properly, but we'll put it in another video. I'm just gonna take the clips off the air box and just remove the top lid. Would recommend also, if you are going down the route of doing the snorkel for water crossings, highly recommend that you change your airbox because these are not watertight. Um, you will get water in your airbox if you're gonna go dunking it under, under in the rivers. So, whether it's one of our airboxes or another company's, I always recommend that you do change your airbox and don't run a stock Toyota one. Alrighty, so now that we've got the airbox out, next stage is to increase the size of the inlet hole on the inner guard. Um, the easiest way to mark that out is the four inch band we give you. You can just hold that over the hole just mark it with the texture and that way you've got a four inch hole um, and you'll just cut on the outside of that line to make it a little bit bigger. So when you put your pinch weld on there, you still have enough room. All right, so we're coming up to the final stage. I've taken the tape off the guard and upside the pillar. You've got just a little bit of hose hanging out. This is enough to actually push in with the snorkel. Um, if you're using one of our hard kits, you'll be working, putting the snorkel in and connecting that up once it's in the guard. So this is a lot easier um, and still just as good as the hard kit. So the next step is we'll be placing the four inch adapter into here and then tightening it with our four inch band. First timers or just anyone at home, highly recommend again, get a friend to help you with this part because if you drop it, you're dropping it onto a car. Um, Alrighty, so once you got that tightened on, just simple, just push it in. Alrighty, so we've installed the first snorkel. That's all plumbed up. I've got the cameraman to help me with that because it is tricky by yourself. Uh, we've got the four alum keys just going onto the bracket. Just go straight in, nice and simple and easy. Um, the next side we've just started on, so we've taped that up. Uh, started cutting the hole and about to do the bracket on that. That is literally the same as what we're doing here. You're just not putting the plumbing in for most cases. We are doing the hard plumbed crossover pipe and the new air box soon. So we've just finished developing that and we're just going through the last testing before we put it on the customer's car. So in the next episode, we'll go through about putting our twin air box in with twin pod filters as well and the hard crossover pipe. 
All right, so the N70 installs all finalized and done. The twins are looking like identical twins, just what we wanted. Um, for any other info on these kits, DM us. And if you just like watching videos and checking out other installs, check out our MP300, our N80, and our Amarok short entry installs on our Instagram. And also check out our products on our website. It's building all around, you can feel it in the air. It's more than a feeling, a new reality everywhere. I look and see the signs of the times. Yeah, it's coming, but they're all in the now. Everything you know, it's all about to change. See the sky cracking, it rains down flames. Oh man, they ain't ready for it. This is something that they can't ignore. Coming down like a meteor. This is more than a game, you better get ready. Shock the world. This is more than a game You better get ready, go ahead, get ready Shock the world